Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Okay, so to get started with this project, I am using the Rory Small Metal Lantern as one option, and I'm also using this Hazel Lantern from Lights.com. And I will explain the reason why I picked these as we get to the end of this project, but it's an important reason for me as to why I picked these. Okay, next you want to go Google search memory sayings and you can either see A up the top, you can click here and get inspired by all kinds of quotes there are out there. You can also go down in your Google search and go to something that is maybe a website that has a bunch of quotes to inspire you. So you're just going to basically pick a quote that you like or something that you that speaks to you and then you're going to put that on a word doc and fancy it up or you can use adobe shop or use canva or pick monkey any of those to kind of design your memorial piece that will be part of this project so now let's move on to the next step for this project you're going to need some lanterns and i picked this rory lantern and this hazel lantern from lights.com and I'm gonna explain exactly why I chose these for this project. Next, we're gonna go ahead and use what they call vellum paper. Vellum, pa vellum paper is a translucent paper so light can shine through it. So we're gonna be using this to print some of our items, but I'm gonna show you a variety of ways to do it. And you could also print out on regular paper as well if you like. So here's a quick look at this quote, and it says, I thought of you today, but that is nothing new. I thought about you yesterday and days before that too. I think of you in silence. I often speak your name. All I have are memories, and your picture is in this frame. Your memory, uh, your memory is a keepsake from which I'll never part. God has you in his arms. I have you in my heart. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out now. And I've got my little saying here that I might want to put in it. Um, as you can see, the first time I made it too big, so I had to make it a second time. So we're going to start with this Rory Lantern, and I love that it opens up really easy. It's got clips to hold your photos. So what I've done is I've printed my saying on my vellum paper, and I've cut it out so that it will fit right here in this front window. Then I've cut out another saying and I had to figure out the size of these windows. And the best way to figure that out is by using a measuring tape and measuring the top, the height and the width. Um, if the glass comes out easily, you can pop it out. But this glass is not only clipped in there, but it also has, you can see those little white things. They're sticky to hold the glass solidly into place, which is nice. So I've trimmed this one up. And I'm gonna put this one in the back and I'm gonna roughly slide it down like that to get it into place. And now I need to work on the side pictures and let me show you what I'm going to do for that. So I have pictures of both sets of my grandparents from my mom's side and my dad's side. And I will be using these. These are regular photos, but you could either print them on vellum paper again or you could print them on regular paper, depending upon what you're doing. Now you could use photos from other time periods in their life, but I'll tell you why this is a little meaningful for me when we do the next lantern. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in here like so. Once I've got them in here, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. And now this one will be done. So I can rotate and see both sides of the sayings, as well as my grandparents. Now, one of the things I love, love, love about this lantern is it's got already built-in LED candles, so I don't have to worry about finding something that'll go inside. And the other thing is, besides just turning it on and off when you want, this one has a built-in timer. So that means it'll run for six hours at a time of my choice. So if I turn this on at 4 p.m. tonight, it'll run for six hours, automatically turn off, and then turn back on at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So I'm really excited with this lantern and how it turns out. So let's build the next lantern. With the hazel lantern, and this one doesn't happen to have a door, so I need to get into it from the bottom, and there's four screws down here. So we're just gonna go ahead 
and remove these screws so that we can take the base off. So pulling the base out of this hazel lantern because this one does not have a door. What I have done for this one is I've printed out four by six pictures. My husband and I will be celebrating our 25th wedding anniversary this fall. So what I've done here is created a collage over the years of things that we've done as the kids have grown up. And this is probably the most recent picture of all of us. And I want to be able to change these up over time. So what's nice is I won't be attaching these in any way, but you can put glue dots or double stick tape or something like that in. But the great thing about this is all I'm going to have to do is slide these into place. So by just utilizing the glass that's already in there and the slide and the way it comes in, all I have to do is slide that picture into place. Now, if it doesn't cover the full surface, you can easily trim it or add vellum paper behind it, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue rotating this and adding the pictures to each side of this lantern. So we'll add the next photo, and I may have to adjust them all a little bit after I get them in here, but I just want you to get the gist of what I'm doing. So we'll get the next one in here here. There we go, get that one in there. Slide that one into place. Ooh, this one's being a little stubborn. Let's get it in there first. And we'll fix that up in a moment. And then we'll work on getting this last one in there. So we've got all of the photos in there. There we go. Oops, okay, great. And I'll get these all into place and then I'll show you what this looks like. Now that the photos are in there, I just put the base back on and screw the screws back into the bottom. So here's a quick look at this lantern, all complete. And again, you could use paper or vellum paper if you want to as well. Now this one, just like before, on off button or timer. So you can turn it on at 4 p.m., let it run for six hours. It'll auto turn off and turn on at 4 p.m. the next day. So let's go put these lanterns in another room and light them up. And for those of you who are pet lovers, we like to memorialize our pets as well. So this is our beloved Husky, Jordy, and she was with us for 17 years and a great part of our family. So I made a collage of different photos of her and then so that one's fallen out. These are just clipped in. So as I rotate it, they're falling out, but I'll clip them back in. You can see the clips in there, but simple, simple project. And again, this one, I had to go out and buy a turn on off candle for, um, but again, a great project for even your pets. So here's a quick look at them with the candles inside are not turned on but what you'll see during the daytime when you're looking at them. And now let's go ahead and turn the light on. And here's a look at them and we'll take another look when it's even darker, but you can see the beautiful glow that comes through the entire picture. And I hope this inspires you to either celebrate or memorialize someone you love and create a beautiful memory for them. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.